Welcome to The Rich Report, a podcast with news and information on high-performance computing. Today, my guests are Galad Shainer from Mellanox and Pavel Shamas from Oak Ridge National Lab. Gentlemen, welcome to the show today. Hi, Rich. Thank you very much, Rich. Well, thanks for coming on. You know, I've read a little bit ahead here, learning about the UCX project. And uh, what I thought we'd do, guys, is kind of go through your slides and then follow that with a Q&A. Uh, thank you very much, Rich. And uh, I will start with the presentation. I'm on slide uh, on this first slide with UCX logo and link to our website and our mailing list. If you want to learn more about the project, just follow the links or send us email mailing list. So before we go into details of UCX project, I would like to talk a bit about background, about the project's essentially laid foundation for this effort. So in the HPC community, we have uh, three well-known projects. Uh, one is MXM by Melnox Technology, which is high-performance communication library for Infiniment Interconnects, which provides high-performance communication interface for MPI and uh, PIGAS programming models. PAMI is another uh, programming interface developed uh, by IBM. It provides support for uh, IBM networking technologies, including InfiniBand. It has support for uh, shared memory. It supports broad range of uh, programming models, starting from MPI, OpenGMAM, and various uh, programming, uh, parallel programming languages, such as Charm++, uh, X10, and so on. It's based on C++. It has excellent support for multi-threading and active messaging. In addition, it has support for non-blocking uh, collective communication. UCCS is an open, open source project uh, that was uh, started by Oak Ridge in collaboration with University of Houston and University of Knoxville, Tennessee, which originally based on open MPI uh, intermediate networking layer. We took the layer and we extended it to make it optimized uh, for OpenGMAM and PIGAS programming models. It also works on MPI. So as you may see, uh, 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 with this series project, we have a lot of um, common features. Uh, all the projects target MPI. Some of them target uh, PIGAS programming models. They have various capabilities. And the idea behind, uh, behind this uh, UCX effort is unify some of the ideas with open collaboration between industry, laboratories, and academia to create open source and production-grade communication fra framework for data-centric and HPC computing. A bit of, uh, about goals of the project. Uh, first of all is API. Uh, we want to define unified API that expose uh, broad semantics and may serve as communication layer for various programming models. We spent a lot of time on optimization of the software. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, we have very low software overheads and user may get directly from the, from the API to uh, networking hardware. Uh, since we work with our industry partners, quality is uh, really important for us. We have automatic systems that uh, test um, all the changes on the code, evaluate performance, and so on. Uh, we also uh, started to build up community around the project uh, that will help us to drive the project uh, forward. Uh, one of the um, important uh, features of the project is enabling of research for uh, various programming models that are not necessarily so popular right now, but definitely they're emerging and potentially might be future exascale programming models. In addition, uh, we want to support multiple various platforms interconnect, including Infiniment, Cray, uh, Power CPUs, x86, Accelerate, and so on. And sort of underlying theme under all these goals is to co-design exascale network API for emerging programming models. Uh, a bit about the collaboration. So we work with Amelox to co-design the network interface. They contributed a lot of ideas and code from XM. They provided support for unreliable datagram, transport, dynamic transport, and so on. Uh, excellent support for shared memory. And uh, they uh, have been working on integration with OpenMPI and Shmem programming models. Uh, on Oak Ridge side, we also involved in design of the interface, obviously, and we contribute uh, optimization for InfiniBand layers, support for Cray interconnects, and shared memory. 
uh, we work with our friends from NVIDIA to enable high quality support for accelerators, which is based on GPU direct technology and GDR copy technologies. Uh, together uh, with IBM, uh, we work on uh, incorporation of the ideas that have been developed as part of PAMIN, like high performance active messaging, uh, threat safety into UCX. And with our uh, partners from academia, uh, we work on integration of UCX with their research platforms. UH, University of Houston, has uh, excellent teams that works on compilers. And, and uh, University of Knoxville, Tennessee, they develop a task-based uh, parallel programming environment. Uh, this diagram provides a high-level overview of the effort. Uh, in uh, gray color, uh, we have sort of all the external uh, applications, programming models in, uh, in blue and orange. This is UCX framework. The framework consists of uh, uh, three main parts. Uh, the top part called UCP, uh, P stands for protocols. This is a high-level API that exposes uh, uh, different APIs for um, various programming models. We have uh, a family of a APIs for message passing uh, libraries such as MPH and OpenMPI. We have a family for uh, biggest uh, base programming uh, models, OpenSchmem, UPC, Chapel, and so on. Uh, we have uh, separate uh, API for task-based uh, uh, programming environments is emerging model, uh, a model such as Parsec, OCR, Legions, and so on. And we have uh, a separate uh, family for IO uh, communication, such as DOS Buffer and uh, DOS Project Develop at Oak Ridge. The UCP layer is responsible, essentially, takes all the communication requests, uh, find uh, most optimal transfer for the request, and push it down to network. It relies on a uh, transport layer. Transport layer is very thin abstractions, abstractions that um, essentially hide the difference between various uh, drivers. For example, we have uh, support for Infiniment Verbs driver. We have support for uh, Gemini areas, uh, Gini interface. We have support for various types of shared memory. Uh, and we have separate uh, uh, conduit for uh, CUDA with the goal to provide support for moving information from accelerator's memory to a host memory and vice versa. Uh, another component called UCS services, which provides essentially a set of utilities uh, for protocols and transports. And one of the ideas here is uh, to provide collection of interfaces that the research community may use to develop new protocols for emerging programming models. And in this way, we're trying to come up with unified API, uh, which can serve multiple programming models and use uh, work with various uh, network hardware. So it's sort of glue layer between programming models and uh, network devices. Few clarification uh, about UCX. UCX is not a driver. We're not trying to re-implement drivers. We think it's vendor's responsibility uh, provide high-quality drivers that provide close to hardware access um, to various capabilities that are available uh, in hardware. And in this, in this sense, UCX relies on drivers provided by OFA communities such as Infiniment Verbs, Accelerated Verbs, Emerging OFA Leaf Fabrics driver, and drivers provided by Cray, like Cray Genie interface. So, you know, as, as, as Pavel described, uh, UCX, it's an open framework, which is based um, on a co-design approach. So we know that, you know, in order to get to the exascale, uh, we must operate in a co-design where you combine the uh, uh, software elements with, with platform elements and together you build solution that can scale uh, towards the future systems. So UCX is a great example of a framework that was created by taking solutions that were developed by leading companies and users, combine them together 
and then going and enhancing the capabilities to enable that framework uh, to deliver the best performance for applications today and going uh, into the future for much larger and, and, uh, and bigger systems. So um, as part of the UCX uh, development, we also established a, a board that includes uh, people from various areas uh, in the high performance computing community, people that have contributed greatly uh, to both systems and software development and enable us to get to where we are today. Uh, it's Arthur Barney McBee from Oak Ridge National Lab, uh, Donald Baker from NVIDIA, George Buskila from UTK, Rich Graham from Lennox Technologies, Samir Kumar from IBM, uh, Steve Poole from Open Source Software Solution, and myself. Uh, the board helps the UCX developers to, uh, to go to the right places, uh, direct the development into key areas that are required by applications today and what is being developed in order to bring UCX to become the de facto and the best framework for the most scalable systems in the world. Great. Well, well, well. Thanks for that. Um, you know, the, the question, I guess, uh, for for both of you, what uh, what was the origin of this project? Did you guys see a gap in APIs as you were uh, coming into starting to work for the Coral system that's coming to Oak Ridge? One of the reasons is that um, development of uh, emerging programming models it's tremendous effort. And uh, part of the challenge here when uh, you design new programming models, and we had this experience, for example, with OpenShmem, what network do we target um, with OpenShmem? Uh, it's very time consuming to develop it for one uh, for broad range of network interfaces. Ideally, what we want to have is have one interface that we may target, and it will enable us running on uh, multiple uh, hardware platforms. Uh, this at least was a motivation when we started a UCS project uh, initially. And then once we realized how much work is it, we realized that we have to work uh, closely with industry uh, to make sure that uh, we have uh, high quality and production grade support for uh, these networks. And, uh, oh, oh, and obviously, um, since you uh, brought the question about uh, Coral, for us right now, we uh, have Titan with uh, Cray and Eugene interfaces. And ideally, as uh, developers, we want to have something that we may develop on the platforms that we have today, and it still will stay relevant and useful in the future, which is uh, Coral platforms with Infinimum. So, so uh, next question I had, guys, is uh, you mentioned that this would be open source. Will you be publishing that under the GPL license, or what were your plans? So, yes, it's going to, uh, uh, going to be open source, uh, and it's going to be published under the BSD license. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, announcement on the availability of the code as open source will come out shortly. Uh, the project today is open for everyone who wants to uh, join and contribute. And more information on how to join the group uh, is uh, what was listed on, on the first slide um, is the URL for the website where you can find more information as well as the email address. Terrific. I guess that kind of answers my next question, but but what are next steps? I mean, is, is this something that people can now contribute code to, or is it more in the formation stage? So uh, I would say uh, claim it's in both stages. So we still uh, developed the ideas with vendors, and in parallel, uh, we're starting to prototype the ideas that we have. So at this stage, whoever wants to join, he may contribute uh, in code, in ideas, in integration with uh, various programming environments. So it's really, uh, I, may say, I may say, we just we just started, and there's a lot of areas where people may uh, contribute to the project. Well, terrific. Uh, Pavel and uh, Galad, I want to thank you both for coming on the show today.
Thank you. Thank very you very much, much Rich. You bet. Okay, folks, that's it for the Rich Report. Stay tuned for more news and information on high-performance computing.